Okay, we're going to try this again. I'm facing the right way now. Welcome, welcome. I want to show you how my um, my garden is doing and my rabs are doing. And I wanted to share with you all my excitement. I'm super excited about the garden. It's going really good. Please hit that subscribe button if, if this interests you in any way. And um, as my garden gets completed, I'll show you canning videos and different things that I have made. Let me um, switch this around real quick here. Now, I made some bone broth yesterday, and I made barbecue sauce. These are not from anything, well, the bone broth was from the pork that I got, I bought from my cousin. I had some roast, so, and there was big bones in them, so I made bone broth out of it. Love this, look how rich that is. That is gonna be so good. So, then I have um, my barbecue sauce that I made, so that's exciting. And then I have to show you the girls. The girls are inside because it's super hot out right now and they can't handle the heat. They are Angora, English Angoras. And English Angoras cannot handle heat at all. So you have to really bring them in. Um, these girls are pretty tame. I um, They're going in a litter box when I let them out. So that's always good. But um, super sweet. One of these... This one, which her name is Olive and Daphne, they're sisters. Olive is much more friendly. She's, I've got her, we bonded since she had her, since she got out of her um, cage. Look at her cute face. She's so cute. I love these guys. These rabbits. Oh, that's a pellet. I'm like, why is that in her ear? She's got a pellet stuck. That's a pellet. See, I have put them on these pellets because if you put them on straw, it all sticks in their hair. So I put them on the pellets, but apparently the pellets stick sometimes too. <laughs> too funny. That is really funny, but they're so sweet. I've been taking them out and brushing them. I need to get them ready for a show. I want to show them. They're both show quality pedigreed, but I haven't done it yet. Daphne's hiding. She's the one that's shyer. So those are those rabs, and then, please don't look at my messy house. If you come out here, oh, now my stuff blew off my table. I was wondering why that was on the ground. I should probably pick this up so it's not all over the place. There we go. And I have my rab out here. This is Sir Lancelot, he's the buck. He's a meat rabbit, he's a Champagne de D'Argent pedigree rabbit. I love him, he's so big and pretty. He loves to be out in his little pen. He's getting braver, he's starting to come over to me. He lets me touch his nose sometimes. <laughs> he's a lot wilder than the girls. So I either need to get I probably need to get some more of these type of rabbits so I can have babies and show them. They can have babies and show them, but I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but he sure is a beauty. He's a good boy and he's huge. He's a big rabbit, very cool. I have to show you my garden. This is exciting because the, the benefit of having rabbits is you can use their bedding and their poo in the garden and it's super, super good for the garden. As you can see, my garden is doing really good. And we are in like super hot right now. We're having like a heat wave, but um, just ignore all the weeds. <laughs> but look at these tomato plants. They're doing so good. This one, this cherry tomato plant is has got a bunch of little cherry tomatoes on it. Yeah, I, I only planted a cherry tomato plant for my sister-in-law, so I hope she appreciates that. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'll probably keep some of them. This one is doing well. Here's a pepper plant. I mostly have peppers and tomato plants. My little pear tree, I love it. But, so you can see, I've got a little tomato on that one. So some of them are starting to come through. And then I've got 
Over on the other side, you can see they're really growing. I've got some cucumbers. Super excited. I'll be able to make relish this year. But look at all the blooms on those. I have like 14 tomato plants in my garden and about 12 pepper plants. Doesn't look like that many, but that's really how many I have. It's kind of amazing. Here's some jalapeno plants and then a tomato plant. I got this tomato plant from my cousin in Iowa and look how good it's growing. It's growing really good. But I have lots of cabbage and my potatoes are right here. There's my potatoes. Can't wait to see how those do. But this is my only paste tomato plant that survived out of the seeds that I had. This is my first year doing it. So I'm not surprised I had a little bit of a struggle, but I'm excited to see how it does. And then I have, ooh, even this one, this cabbage even has a baby growing in it, baby cabbages. <laughs> and those are eggplants. Never grown those before, but they're doing really good. This is all due to the rabbit poo I put in the garden. This is all fertilizer, free fertilizer. Look at that onion. I have a red onion. I planted some red onions in here too. They're coming up. But it's all going really well. So I'm super excited. And then there's my buck. He's, re he's relaxing. It's hot out here. I gave him ice cubes earlier today. But he does, he does a good job. He's a good little rab. I'll have permanent hutches for him soon. But right now, this is what he has. He likes it. He seems to be okay with it. This is my apple tree. I've got hostas planted here. And my gigantic cabbage. This is my biggest one. It's, it's still still growing. I'm just going to let it grow. Hopefully it'll get through this heat and still keep growing. That would be good. This is my catnip. It's going crazy. Lots of catnip. I, I watered this this morning. Here's rosemary. What is this? Sage. Garden sage. And then my basil's right here. These are my calendula flowers but they're not doing real great this heat's kind of getting to them my strawberries died that i had in there there's some more basil and a little bit of lettuce it's getting very wilty though and then last but not least for vegetables i have onions in here lots of onions these ones in the center i just planted like a week ago and these i'm just letting get bigger but they're doing good. And then I have these, which I poured dirt on them because they were showing outside of the dirt. But then I saw on YouTube that they are um, shallow and they should show out of the dirt. So I probably just killed them by putting that dirt in there. I hope not. That would suck. Because those are, I love to have a lot of onions to freeze. And then my flowers. <laughs> it's pretty hot out. Pretty hot. Oh, this is my pride and joy right here. Look at this. A hydrangea. I can't wait for it to bloom. It's going to be so pretty. That is my favorite. I got that from my cousin in Iowa. Oh, and there's already... Oh, look. I just noticed this. There's flowers on it. There's flowers. Buds on it. Yay! It's gonna start blooming pretty. I wonder if when it's gonna bloom. Hopefully soon. But it's super pretty. Love it. But yeah, that's the garden. This is supposed to be a flower, but it's. I need to replant it into the ground. Oh, and I did forget one thing to show you. There's the onions. I wanted to show you my rhubarb. I got this rhubarb from the store and it's coming up. Look 
how good that looks. And I have rhubarb down there that I got from my um, aunt. And it's not coming up as well, but it's, it's still growing. So it's going well. Please hit that subscribe button. And thank you for watching.